recently released from Eureka Entertainment as part of their Eureka Classic range is Sergio Carbucci's The Specialists and I had never heard of this movie not heard a whisper about it, I knew who Corbucci was, I was really interested to delve into this one. As soon as it came through the door, I almost flung it in the player straight away and this, this is entirely my kind of movie. I loved The Specialist from start to finish. I found it riveting, a fantastic spaghetti western and just something that I can see me revisiting constantly. It was just pure and utter joy for me. Now one of the things I really liked about this is the way the movie looked very different from a lot of other westerns of the time, you know of the long uh, deserts, the high plains as they're constantly going through it. This is a hilly mountainous uh, place that they're living in. There's snow in the background, you see all these kind of muddy and dirty uh, kind of tracks, there, there's woods and rivers and th just visually is very different from a lot of other westerns that I've seen. At the start we get introduced to our main character of HUD in a super cool moment. We have these group of folk that are hijacking a stagecoach and he's just there just to lay down the law and show exactly his ability and skills that he has. And we discover that he's heading back to this town to find out what happened to his brother Charlie who was accused of stealing uh, money from a bank and then was lynched and uh, we have a lot of, of high falutant people within this village that are really worried about this because A, the reputation of HUD and B, they kind of understand that they maybe shouldn't have lynched this guy uh, at the time. We will have all these wealth of additional secondary characters, uh, probably this person that plays the most up is the sheriff and he is a kind of pacifist of sorts. He doesn't allow weapons within the town. He wants everybody just to get along, uh, no problems if he can help it and constantly see him trying to you know, get on top of HUD, trying to figure out what he's up to and trying to tear him down and, and just never even coming close to, to stopping him or catching him. Uh, it's just wonderful. There's a good relationship that builds up there. We get to see El Diablo, the, the kind of Mexican bad guy that holds his a gang outside of the town. It's terrific as well. We get all these different people. We get the owner of the bank, we get the owner uh, of the, the, the bar. They all add up to a wonderful yarn. It has terrific action. It has kind of gore. It has uh, strange characteristics within it. There is these four boys that kind of roll into town who just seem to be there all the way through the movie but don't really add anything to it until near the end. There is a wonderful scene at the end that is just almost pointless where you have about 40 or 50 people just completely naked for the sake of embarrassing them. But it's wonderful. It's energetic and fun. It has constant action set pieces. I loved the main actor and his performance of HUD was just utterly wonderful. He doesn't have friends because he tells us several times throughout it and you believe him. Even the look of the guy was fantastic. This chain mail vest that he wears like a kind of bulletproof armour was just wonderful to see and even when it gets to the end and he's going up against these insurmountable odds and constantly coming out on top, you're just like how much punishment can this man take? Terrific movie. The Specialist was utterly wonderful from the look, and style, design, the sound mixing, the way it was set up. Even the mystery at the heart of the movie was interesting enough, but it's not the thing I'm going to go back for to this one. I'm going to go back because of the pacing, because of the action, because I really liked a lot of the characters and a lot of the set pieces throughout the movie. The Specialist was one that, like I said, I'd never heard of and it's instantly a new favourite of mine's. Utterly loved this movie. If you have any recommendations of anything like this, I would love to know them in the comment box because I want to see more movies like this specifically. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Let me know in the comment box as well and I will see you next time 
on MindVFO.